going on, everybody? It is weigh-in Wednesday, the start of week seven here. This little weight loss competition I got going on with James over there at Wanderlust Estate, and I'm excited. Let's get right to the weigh-in and see what we are today. Dum dum dum! Week seven weigh-in. To put this into perspective, one week ago on week six, I was one. 90.6. What are we today? 188.2. Woo! Not a monster amount of weight loss in a week, but 2.4 pounds in seven days nonetheless brings my total for this 90 day challenge to 22.6 pounds lost, which is pretty incredible. I'm well on my way to hit that 30 pound mark in 90 days. I am seeing some unbelievable changes in both my body and my facial features, my attitude, my depression, my energy level, my, my, my pop. I'm waking up earlier in the day and I'm still eating healthy, which is just incredible and so cool, man. I honestly have not been in this good a shape since I was in my early 20s. And uh, I'm, I'm working hard. See, what you guys don't see from week to week is all the behind the scenes dedication to eating healthy or at least a lot healthier than I was previously on YouTube. All Think about all the stuff I've dropped and swapped for. I'm still not eating the best, but uh, I am seeing just, you know, pounds and pounds shaved every week. And this is just so cool, man. Oh, I, I feel fantastic. James, this was a trick. I know it was. Because even though I can't beat you, because he's like walking like nine miles a day or more, uh, you've changed my life, man. I'm so excited every day to keep this up. Uh, I, I do have some updates to share with you last week. If you missed last week's uh, week six check-in, I was talking about exactly what I eat every single day and exactly what workout I do for how long and the reps and everything, like really specific details. And what I forgot to mention is that this changes as far as the workouts every single week. In fact, in just seven days now, I'm already noticing that on the Body Boss system, I'm adjusting the bands to have more tension already. And my reps, nearly all my reps from last week are changed. Instead of 20, they're now 30 three times. You know, and it's just, it's always going to change because you always want to push yourself. So I can't just say it's going to be this amount of push-ups each day. No, it's constantly changing. If I start capping how much I'm gonna work out and base it on week one or week two, I'm not gonna be able to maintain and continue to lose weight. And I am doing the hardest work I've ever done in three months, trying to lose as much weight as possible so I can get to a target weight and then start working on toning up. So, I mean, I just, I, I feel fit. I hope you guys have seen it. I feel fantastic and I'm full of energy. And it's not caffeine, I swear. Right now I'm, I'm wearing an extra large shirt. These are what all my shirts are. And I'm just, I'm, I'm swimming in an extra large shirt, which kind of looks funny. Uh, I'll, eventually, I'll probably be getting larger medium shirts, but for right now, the, it, it, it is what it is. I'm, I'm just working out in them, and I'm, I'm just going to sport it anyway, you know? It's been a while since I've done the before and after, and, and understand that I'm uncomfortable bearing it all on, on camera, but it is kind of essential to take a look back. So just bear with me. I want to show you some body changes real quick. Now, first of all, I joked about this last week, but getting my, my neck features back and my, my, my jawline starting to get more defined, kind of like it was when I was in my early 20s, but definitely a slimming down here in the face area. And every time I walk into the bathroom and look at myself in the mirror, I'm kind of just shocked at first. I'm like, holy cow. And then, you know, getting these new muscles up here, it's, 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 it's weird to see. It's been a long time. So I'm seeing definitely some physical changes when I look in the mirror. And because I know how much you guys just love looking at my Simpsons tattoos, again, this is week one, January 1st of 2020. Okay, compared to the progress I have here at the beginning of week seven, six full weeks of working out and making huge lifestyle changes. I'm losing weight around the midsection. I've obviously still got some work to do. We're only about halfway through, basically. But I'm toning my midsection. I am gaining muscles and adding new muscles all over my body. I don't know if you see the change, but I definitely see a huge change in my body in just six full weeks. 
Also noticing some changes in my thighs, much more muscles and in my calves. That's mainly due to all the elliptical workouts I've been doing. I feel like I'm gonna look back at this video and laugh because I'm so proud of where I am. I've never looked this good or felt this good since I was in my early 20s. And there's still so much work to be done, obviously, but still, these are huge improvements. And I hope you can see the difference because I can't stop looking at the difference in, in my body and everything. So I need to lose exactly 7.4 pounds in the next five weeks to reach my 30 pounds in 90 days goal, which at this point, well, nothing's guaranteed, but you know. I am finding that the uh, temptations, well, they're not as bad as they used to be because hanging out with other people tends to tempt me a little more. Also, just being in areas where there happens to be a Taco Bell right across the street or I drive past a Burger King's, obviously there's, there's some things that I'm like, oh, I wish I could. But right now, I think I'm in a really unique situation living in an RV and doing this challenge because inside this RV, I mean, I am literally completely in control of everything, okay? I put what I want in that fridge in the freezer. Oftentimes, I am boondocking or camping away from places that would break my diet or make me feel guilty. So, really, this is a great environment to lose weight and stay on this new lifestyle, you know, food goal, whatever you call it. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm tempted all the time. Every time I turn the TV on and see commercials, I'm like, it's pizza, it's, it's pasta, it's hamburgers, it's everything that I'm, I've been avoiding in 2020. Soda, Bud Light, I mean, uh, I couldn't possibly sit here and say that this is not difficult, that I'm not making non-stop conscious choices to do the right thing for me. For nobody else, but but for me, that, and maybe that's why this is working so well. Because if I if I cheat myself, I mean, there, it, I'm not cheating anybody. I'm literally just ruining it for myself. So that's all I'm saying. It's, it's working really well. I'm really happy. You don't see all the behind the scenes stuff, and uh, there's a lot going on. But look, I have found a new way to track my progress. Uh, both through the Apple Watch Series 5 and my iPhone 11 Pro, and that is the uh, health app. Before I go into the health app and, and show you some specifics here, you know, I've talked in the past about the, the watch itself helping me close certain rings as far as moving and exercise and standing 12 hours a day and tracking calories and stuff like that. But what the watch doesn't tell me necessarily is also the other natural calories that I'm burning just throughout the day without my workout. So the health app on here is really helping me look at something which has changed everything. And I'm not a professional or anything, but look, if you want to lose weight, there's no magical science behind it, but you need to work off more calories than you're bringing in. So if you're bringing in 2,000 calories a day, you need to be burning more than 2,000 calories each day to be able to drop some pounds. I don't care who you are, that's just the simple mathematics of losing weight. You don't need to be a nutritionalist or an expert to know that. Now sure, it's probably better to eat better foods, but last week I showed you that I'm keeping... No! Oh! Eric, why don't you just uh, throw the iPhone on the ground, you know, it's, it's only a $1,400 phone. Anyways, I showed that I'm consuming less than 1,200 calories a day, every single day. About, a, what was it, 1182 calories a day that I'm bringing in. Let me show you something real quick. Okay, so don't judge me or anything as I show you some uh, specifics here, but as my iPhone shows all the dates, these three rings, it's showing, there's a couple days, like the 15th there, I probably wasn't feeling very well, I didn't finish my exercise, or my, my, my move there. But see how the move says that I did 614 of 700 calories? Okay, then the exercise, this one doesn't say calories. Let me go back. So if we go back and look at February 9th, for example, this is my active energy. These are my workouts. And as you can see, it lists the exact amount of calories. I burned 870 calories that day. Day before, 775. Then a bad day, 568. Then... It was almost a record-breaking 1,209 burned calories. None of this includes your normal resting calories. So again, if we go back to our rings, this was a really good day where everything kind of looped around and I, I overdid it a little bit. But this is Wednesday, February 5th last week, on weigh-in of last week. Uh, where is it? Right there. You can see right there it does the total calories. I don't know if you can see that, but 3,541 total calories which includes my workout and my normal burned calories. Go to the next day, Thursday. 
Again, 3,243 calories. Friday was a cheat day. Not going to be as good. What does it say? 2,643. Again now, these are not James type numbers. Because <laughs> I don't hike like him. But if you're doing the math along with me, I'm eating, I'm consuming 1,200 calories. I'm burning an average of like 3,000 calories a day. 1,200, 3,000 burned. Again, you don't need to be an expert scientist here or anything, but I'm burning double what I'm putting in my body. Therefore, my body has no choice but to lose weight every single week. That's not to say I'm not working hard. And look, some of these nights come by and it reminds me, hey, you still got 20% left on this. Might be raining. I may have to put a jacket on, walk to the Walmart, and do three laps around the outer perimeter of Walmart in the store to finish that. And, you know, I'm on it. I like being able to track it. I like being held accountable. But with my walking and exploring and filming and my workouts at night, my cardio and my strength training, I'm still in this perfect rhythm to continue to get fitter and to lose weight, more importantly. That's the main goal right now for this 90 days is to lose weight. And I know, I got 207,000 of you out there who all have some sort of opinion on what I should be doing instead. And I have mentioned that I appreciate all this awesome advice, but still, give me some credit. I'm sticking to my plan, and it continues to work every single week. I've never in my life seen this kind of results. So possibly I'll take into account some of the other advice that people have been giving me starting April 1st as I begin phase two of this... Uh, new healthy journey in life. But let's see, I'm putting lemon in my water for a little change, which is great, you know, like two or three quarter slices of a, of a lemon squeezed in my water. It tastes great, makes it a little different. Still drinking a gallon of water at least a day. Haven't been walking as much as I'd like to really lately because of the rain. The rain has been changing, did I mention that? Week seven, again, raining again. Seven straight Wednesdays with the rain outside. I would love to be doing something different and filming outdoors for a Wednesday weigh-in. It ain't gonna happen, I don't think. But I got plans, I got things going on. I'm trying to get healthy. I'm gonna stick with this. And I got an awesome video coming up for you in just two days on Friday, so don't go anywhere. Anyways, guys, I love y'all. James, you're watching this and pfft, don't just go ahead and brag, you lost more than me. But you know what? I lost more than I ever thought I possibly could at age 38. So anybody can have a new me. And that's the cool part about it. Guys, take care. I'll see you on Friday, and then I'll see you again next Wednesday for Week 8 Way in Wednesday. Bye, guys.